problem, man. Like, growing up, I've had this abusive dad. He will always hit me. His hits don't hurt, but they hurt my feelings. I just don't know what to do, man. I, I need some help. Hey, man. Let me hey, help you out. Hey, hey. When I was your age, my dad used to abuse me all the time, too. Except it wasn't emotional abuse. It was really physical abuse, and he would hit me with his penis all the time whenever I didn't do what he said. It was really hard growing up to try to cope with his behavior, but you know what? Somehow I found a way to do it. Sure, I have penis bruises all over my body, but I feel like you can get through this, buddy. When he gave me something, he had to take some away. He took away my height. He took away my good looks, man. Oh, dragon. Hey, let me tell you something about height, buddy. I'm pretty short, I mean, too, and you know what I did? I went online, and I bought some dildos, and I put it on the bottom of my feet, and it may be about five inches taller. It really works. Trust me, I've done it all the time. People were like, wow, you grew overnight. I was like, you know what? It's dildos. They didn't believe me, but it was true. I never heard somebody be that nice to me. The last time somebody was nice to me like that, they touched me in my no-no special place. It was good. It was good. Oh, trust me, buddy. I know all about rape. Let me tell you a little story about my grandfather. Whenever I would go to his house, he'd always say, Hey, come here! Let me touch your ass! It was really awkward. But you know what? I let him do it anyway because he was old and he had Alzheimer's and he thought I was his wife. And you know what? He died a very happy death. He died fucking me, so, you know, it was a little awkward because I was only 11, but, you know what, at least he died happily and peacefully. Like, they don't like me, bro, because my pants be sagging down low. I'm just being me, but apparently she like white dude with really high pants like Steve Urkel. I don't know what to do. Well, let me tell you, when, when, a guy, when a guy swags down his pants and wears them really low, that means he's ready for anal sex. So maybe your girlfriend thinks you're gay. <laughs> What you gotta do is pull your pants up and be a man. If you like penis in your butthole, I will not judge you, but your girlfriend might. Well, you she know, like, asked, I'm, I've been coping it. with it, bro. I've been coping with it, and I come to realize that I think I do the man, man. I think that is why I sag my pants down low. What, what should I do? How should I tell people, bro? I don't know what to do. Oh, come on. Well, me and my best friend were thinking about starting a website called Closet Curious, where straight men go to protect, you know, if they want to try being gay. So maybe when I get this site up and running, you can be my first customer. I bet there's a lot of guys who would love to have your penis in their anal cavity. <laughs> I bet it's gigantic. <laughs> you probably have an anaconda in your pants, and all the men will be fucking <laughs> Like, Lama, like, w w what do you think I should do, man? Because, like, back to the uh, homosexual topic, like, my anus, it, it's got a disease in it, man. Just cock slap your toes. It's got a disease in it, man, you know? And people don't want to put that in there. You know what? All you have to do is put some cream on your butthole and make it look nice and smooth, and no one will know you have a disease. <laughs> You know, the only one visible is herpes. They'll find out later, but they're not gonna find out right away. <laughs> Dang, oh my man. god, so this weekend I went to the movies and I got some popcorn. Really good. And it's been you. stuck in my teeth for like three days. Three days, bro. Three days. It's called toothbrush, bro. Use it. Yeah, I don't know what to do. <laughs> hey, bro, I mean, I'm just spinning. Uh, I eat Kentucky Fried Chicken a lot, man. Yeah, and we know. I get that stuff stuck in my teeth, bro. Yeah, I don't. I can't afford to fly. So what I did was I plucked my pubic hairs. And I used them as that. Shut up. That worked, man. It worked. I just think it's fucked up because I think my parents are gonna get divorced because my dad has a tiny dick. Well, you know what? My dad had the same problem, but you know what? They didn't get a divorce. Instead, my mom just cheated on him, which made it a lot better. I got to see my dad, and my dad still thought he would date my mom. <laughs> the thing is, I went to the movies with my girlfriend. She's the one that bought the pop, bought the popcorn. I think she did something to do it. She tainted the popcorn, so I'd get hurt on purpose. You know what you should do? You should put it like that. And you should put up with that. No one should put up with that, man. Especially not you. You a good <laughs> man. Don't oh put up God. with that. Get a new hoe. I don't know, man. It's just. Really messed up because I can't afford baby powder. So if I shave my pubes, it's gonna be all. I'm gonna get pimples everywhere. I understand that, man. But what you do is you steal the uh, school soap. That's what I did. <laughs> I jacked the soap out of the sauce. <laughs> and you know what I did? I wiped my pubic hair with the soap, and that helped a lot. It's better than proactive. 
like, uh, like honestly though, my doctor told me if I cut my wrist anymore that my dick's gonna stop working because no blood's gonna get to it. You know where your doctor is? He's stupid. Why you think that's Viagra? Don't worry about that. Cut your wrist all you want. Just take Viagra when you have sex. Work for me. I cut my wrist all the time. 